Well, welcome everyone. So we're so glad to have so many of you joining us live. Um, but if you're watching the recording, we're glad that you found us on YouTube and it uh, gives you a chance to learn more about Alaska and this cruise that visits Alaska in a way that no other cruise does. We are Suzanne and then Steve, if you could say hello. Hello. Steve Clausen with Cruise One in Sholo, Arizona. Our theme tonight is you deserve more, more in Alaska and more incredible perks on board. Um, so we're going to dive right into it and talk about what we're going to have for our, our guests and what this cruise uh, experience will bring to you. Um, so here's our agenda. We're going to introduce you quickly to our agency because we want you to feel comfortable booking with us. And then I'm going to reveal why Holland America is your best cruise line of choice for Alaska. And Steve and I will share with you some of our personal experience in Alaska because we've been there a bunch of times and with Holland America. It is a, a wonderful cruise line and we really enjoy cruising with Holland America. And best of all, at the end, I'll go over our discounted pricing and our exclusive extras that we have just for folks who are booked into our group. So if you're new to my agency, maybe you found us through our, um, our social media advertising or referred by friends, I want you to know that, that I want you to get to know me. I want you to feel extremely comfortable booking with me. I'm happy to spend time doing a phone consultation, talk to you about your cruise plans and your dreams, because it's all about building that relationship between the travel agent and the client. You're never just a number to me. It's always a personalized cruise planning experience. And that's what I feel like our agency really makes a difference in the way we work with our clients uh, versus maybe an all online call center or just booking directly with the cruise line. My husband, Steve, and I are avid travelers ourselves. And we are so lucky because the internet on cruise ships now is finally good enough that we are run, able to run our business from anywhere in the world. Uh, we are in Sholo right now, but uh, we do travel a lot. And we consider that travel time and investment in our business. Uh, we use our firsthand experience to all the destinations that we visit to deliver an exceptional vacation experience to our clients. Uh, I was just reading an article on the Points Guy's website today, and he talked about what you should look for in a travel agent. And one of the things that he said is you want a travel agent that's well-traveled. Um, Steve and I love partnering with Holland America. We actually took our honeymoon cruise with Holland America to Alaska uh, 31 years ago. And most recently, we sailed with them uh, just in May of this year. We did a 28-night transatlantic and Baltic cruise with them. We also did a 24-day cruise last August of 22 that went to Canada, Greenland, and Iceland. Uh, and can we love Alaska? There's no better way to experience Alaska than with Holland America. Um, why use a travel agent and specifically why work with us? Well, I mentioned it earlier. It's about those relationships that we build with our clients. Um, we work on your behalf. I have a lot of training and experience to guide customer decisions and a lot of personal experience with the cruise line, the deck plans, all those kind of things. I have my elite cruise counselor certification from the Cruise Line International Association. And I firmly believe that there's a cruise line for everybody. There's one that fits every every need, everything from budget-friendly carnival all the way to super luxurious region. And it's my job to help make sure that I put the client with the, the cruise line that fits their budget and their style. And I'll tell you what is the best kept secret in travel is that you actually most often will get a better price going through a travel agent than if you book directly online. It'll never be more going through a travel agent, but if you, um, it, in this case, we have better pricing than if you just went on the Holland America website and booked yourself. Um, and here's the best set kept secret is that the commission that we earn as travel agents is built into the price, whether you use us or not. The price will be the same or less through the travel agent, and the cruise line just pockets that extra money. You're just a, a number in a transaction. Whereas I'm building personal relationships with my clients. I work for you. You are getting the services of a highly skilled travel professional. And it doesn't cost you anything for all those things. So, and I'm easy, easy to reach. You can phone me, text me, email me. 
um, nearly 24 seven. I do, do have to sleep sometimes, but um, I, I try to be as responsive as possible and usually try to get back with, as soon as I see the, the, uh, the question come in. So let's talk about more perks. It's the best time to book your Holland America cruise because they are offering the Have It All Plus promotion. And that gives you the upgraded beverage package, the upgraded internet, plus you get the gratuities for the housekeeping and dining staff. So Holland America doesn't always include those things in their, their promotional packages. So having those gratuities included really makes a difference. You also get three nights of specialty dining and you get $300 per person shore excursion credit. So I wanna tell you a little bit about um, why Alaska is your, um, your best destination. Now, Whitney was not able to join us tonight, but I am a Holland America Alaska expert, so I'm gonna run you through the Holland America slides. So uh, Northern Wonders Await. Uh, this chart just shows you the, the different times when you can visit Alaska and what you're gonna see. So in June, we are gonna have the driest weather. Uh, we're gonna have the warmest weather. Um, we're gonna have the most hours of the daylight. So we're gonna get to see those beautiful sights in Alaska well into the night. The scenery just never ends. Um, we'll get to see a lot of great birds, bald eagles, whale watching. Uh, there's even, you can even do some fishing in port, uh, bears. I mean, this is, June is such a great time to go to Alaska. And this is a very extensive tour. So, um, and Holland America has been doing Alaska for longer than any other major cruise line. They are number one in Glacier Bay, meaning they have the most visits to Glacier Bay of any cruise line. Um, and this cruise is going to have Glacier Bay plus three other scenic sailing glacier experiences. Um, for those who cruise with Holland America line to Alaska, they want to have an onboard experience that's going to match the destination. And Holland America weaves Alaska into every aspect of the cruise. You're gonna have Alaskan presentations, you're gonna have Alaskan food on board, and you're gonna have the experience on shore that is gonna be no, matched by no other cruise line. Um, and it, this is really the only like 360 degree immersive Alaska experience. Um, the top reasons to choose Holland America. Well, first of all, they're number one in Glacier Bay. Um, Holland has, I mentioned this before, they have more sailings to any, any other place. And seeing the different glaciers up close and personal in that bay, it's like a, a, like a wonderful thing. And Holland America has these time-honored traditions when you're out there on the deck and it's cold and you're looking at all this stuff, they give you split pea soup or maybe some glue vine, which is hot mold wine. Uh, there's all different places where you can go on the ship from the crow's nest, which is closed in to open decks where you can really take in those glaciers. Um, another reason to choose Holland America for Alaska is that they are going to offer you that up close and personal experience with the wildlife. Um, here's some examples of some of the different types of animals that you can see on this cruise. Um, Holland America is a participant in programs that help protect these marine zones so the guests can continue to enjoy this wildlife for generations to come. Um, and also, they're just like those otters. They're just so cute and personal. Uh, it's really a great experience to see the wildlife of Alaska from a Holland America cruise ship. Um, and Holland America also wants to bring you up close with that real Alaska, um, whether it's, it's um, spotting whales or maybe attending the lumberjack show and catch a can. Um, or spotting otters and bald eagles from, from the, the different sites around Sitka. Um, or you can hop on the White Pass and Yukon Railroad and go um, on a journey that, that mirrors the, the journey that the miners did during the gold rush era. Um, so really some incredible things that you can see by doing this cruise with Holland America. Um, again, they've been there for, for longer than anybody. They have the relationships with the suppliers, the ports, everything you need to make sure that your Alaska experience is completely seamless. So here's a map of our incredible itinerary. It's 28 days round trip Seattle. That makes flying super convenient. You don't have to fly all the way up to Anchorage um, or Fairbanks. You're gonna see all of this coastal area, which is some of the most beautiful areas of Alaska right from the ship. And 
of course, you're going to have those four glacier experiences, and you're going to get to visit ports like Kodiak and Dutch Harbor and know that you don't get on a traditional cruise experience, even with Holland America. Um, Ketchikan might be the cutest little town in Alaska. That's the first port we're going to visit. It's also known as Alaska's first city. So um, it's fitting that it is our first, first port. Here's where you can see the Lumberjack Show. Uh, you can do a calm inland experience on a boat that was featured in the, bear, in the Deadliest Catch. So they call it the Bering Sea Crab Fishing Experience, but it's calm inland waters. There's no 50-foot waves splashing over the, over the, over the deck of the tour boat. Uh, you can do whale watching from here, sea kayaking. Uh, there, are there are several Native American totem sites, and you can learn uh, about the Native American culture in the area. There's hiking, and there's even tours that you can do, like a seafood fest. They take you on a boat, they take you a place, a seafood house, and they put, you know, they put out the crab and all the different seafoods, and you get to enjoy the, uh, the fresh catch from Alaska. Um, Sitka is, um, that is the town where the treaty was, um, was signed and the, hand, the handover took place when the U.S. bought Alaska from Russia. And, and, and acknowledging that Russian heritage, um, there is a dance show there performed by the New Archangel Dancers. Now, I haven't seen this uh, offered through the cruise lines anymore. Uh, they're actually booking directly on TripAdvisor and have like one show a day when the ships are in port. So that's something you might want to check out. Um, and you might want to enjoy the beauty of the wildlife of the area. This is one of the areas where you can go see those cute little sea otters that we saw. You can do the sea kayaking. And there's even a couple places where you can go watch grizzly bears from a safe distance. So Prince William Sound, this is a 10,000 mile, square mile protected waterway with islands, fjords, 150 glaciers in the area. It's home to humpback whales, orcas, porpoises, sea otters, sea lions, seals, and on the coastline, there are 30 species of land animals, including black bears, brown bears, mountain goats, doll sheep, over 220 species of birds in this area, but both migratory and resident. And Valdez is a place where you can get the authentic Alaskan experience with museums, antiques, and they even have the first barrel of oil to ever flow through the pipeline. Um, when we visited in 1993 on our honeymoon, we enjoyed a whitewater rafting on the low river um, in Keystone Canyon on this area. So that's why I put that picture. Holland America still offers that tour. Um, College Fjord, it is home to five tidewater glaciers and dozens of hanging and valley glaciers. Just a really spectacular area. Um, this is this is something that I'm looking forward to returning to because the last time we were here in College Fjord was 32 year, 31, 32 years ago on our honeymoon. Um, and the College Fjords, they, these professors from Harvard and Amherst named all the different glaciers after different elite colleges from the North, Northeast. But interestingly enough, they did not name one Princeton because that was their arch rival. Um, Dutch Harbor. This is a place with fishing and history. Um, in World War II, this was a battleground and prominently features in the television show, Deadliest Catch. Um, it's also the number one fishing port in the USA with Pollock and Cod for the Bering Sea being the most plentiful catches. So gonna be a very interesting port to see. Now I have this picture of Nome. I have the picture of the doggos because Known is the terminus of the Iditarod Trail. It's also the terminus of the, uh, the, the most famous dog sledding race in the world. The race goes along the same trail as the famous life-saving diphtheria serum uh, run uh, that was done uh, in the early 20th century. There was a group of children that got diphtheria and they needed this, this serum to um, alleviate the toxicity of the side effects of the diphtheria. And so they had to use dog sleds to run the serum from Anchorage to Nome. Um, if you haven't seen the movie Togo, it's a great Disney movie about the serum delivery relay and the dog that led for most of the miles and his name was Togo. And Nome is a place where you are going to learn about the history of the gold rush. Um, you're gonna be able to take a wildlife tour and maybe spot some Arctic musk oxen that live in the area. In town, you can learn about native arts, or about the Bering Sea land bridge and the history of that. 
um, it's a really great place to connect with uh, this authentic Alaskan experience in Nome. The Arctic Circle. So the plan is for the cruise will leave Nome and then it's gonna sail up into the Arctic Circle. Um, this is um, this is the, where the Arctic Circle crosses through land is marked on many different maps and everything. So that we're gonna have to sail up and, and see where it is on, on a boat. Um, it, it, um, Holland America, I'm sorry, I'm getting caught, tripped up on my words. Holland America usually commemorates things like crossing the Arctic Circle with a certificate that they deliver to your room. Uh, we got one when we crossed the Arctic Circle in our 2022 cruise when we were, we crossed it when we were in Iceland. So it's something interesting. It's something you could check off your bucket list. I've been inside the Arctic Circle. Um, so Kodiak. Kodiak is a hundred miles long island and it's Alaska's largest. It's actually the second largest island in the U.S. Um, it is a great place for bear viewing. You can do ocean fishing, kayaking, and there's a nice little history museum in town. There's also a Russian Orthodox church. It's known as Holy Resurrection Cathedral. And it has one of those beautiful blue onion domes that people like to photograph. Anchorage. So Anchorage is, the cap is not the capital of Alaska, but it's the largest city. Um, we're we're going to overnight here. So that gives you a chance to take excursions that are going to take you further afield. Uh, but in this area, there are parks and recreation opportunities are just like crazy. Um, there's Chuga State Park. It borders the city. And there's a Native Heritage Museum, an Aviation Museum, because we all, well, maybe you don't know, aviation was such an important part of the development of Alaska because so many places in Alaska can only be reached by float plane. Um, and then there's other popular activities like light seeing, shopping, fishing, and hiking can all be done in Anchorage. And I thought this was kind of interesting. A couple of years ago, uh, I went to a, um, a travel agent uh, seminar, and they were talking about different things that you could do in Anchorage. And one of the things is there is an outfitter right in Anchorage that rents everything you need for an authentic fishing experience. Waiters, um, uh, fishing equipment, even the $15 Alaska one day fishing license. So if that's something you've always wanted to do, you can actually do that right in downtown Anchorage. Glacier Bay. Okay, we talked a little bit about Holland America being number one in Glacier Bay, but why is Glacier Bay so important? Um, so they've been bringing guests to this destination longer than any other cruise line. There are seven active tidewater glaciers in Glacier Bay, uh, and the bay was created when those glaciers receded more than 30 miles between 1794 and 1879. So in 1794, an explorer sailed by that there was no bay there. And by 1879, there was this beautiful, beautiful 30 mile deep bay. And it was named a World Heritage Site in uh, 1992. And the park is home to all kinds of marine life. Uh, you will see humpback whales, orcas, uh, stellar sea lions, um, harbor seals, sea otters, porpoises. In addition to that marine life, the mammals along the shore are also uh, very exciting to get your binoculars out and look for. Uh, you might see black or brown bears. Uh, you might see even see uh, a rare blue glacier bear, which is a, uh, a rare color for a black bear. Um, there, you could see moose, wolves, Sitka black-tailed deer, mountain goats, and bald eagles along the shores of Glacier Bay. So it's definitely someplace where you're going to want to have your binoculars out and check things out. Hubbard Glacier is the next glacier we're going to visit. Um, and interestingly enough, this is an advancing glacier. It's not receding. Um, and within its six miles, it's six miles across on the face. And it is one of the most spectacular sites to sail by. Uh, often you can spot seals hauled out on the little icebergs in the bay. Um, and it calves a lot. So you might even be able to get a picture of the calving phenomenon, uh, which is always exciting if you can see that happen. Um, Haynes, and this is a little community. Um, it is near Skagway, and it is one of the areas that's connected to Canada via road. So there's tours that can take you into Canada, 
Uh, there's you can do the uh, White Pass and Yukon train from here if you book your tour through through Holland America. They will take you over to Skagway and you can get on the train there. Um, and you can also do that scenic ride up into Canada, which is very beautiful as well. So do you know what the capital of Alaska is? Do you know? Since Juneau, um, I know that's a bad joke. I always have to tell it. Um, but in Juneau, there it's one of my fun, favorite places to visit. Uh, they have helicopter rides out where you can land on a glacier and walk around. Or they, if you really want to splurge, they can take you up to a dog sledding camp on the top of the glacier. And you can actually mush, mush with your own dog sled team. Um, and the other thing is if you don't want to do a super expensive excursion, the town can be in, enjoyed with a walk just from your cruise ship. You can take the Sky Tram up to the top of Mount Roberts for a beautiful scenic view. Uh, there's lots of places in town where you can enjoy fresh fish and chips or some king crab legs. Um, and you, one of my favorite places to visit there is the recently renovated Alaska State Museum. They have all kinds of incredible world-class exhibits that tell the history and the story of Alaska. So um, we're in this port from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. So you have an opportunity to do lots of different excursions here. Tracy Arm Fjord. So this is the home of the Sawyer Glacier. Um, it features several S-curves. So every time you go around a bend, there's another view. Uh, you want to keep your eyes open as we sail through here because you can sometimes see bear, deer, uh, wolves, harbor seals, a variety of birds, bald eagles. Um, mountain goats can even sometimes be seen near the near the, the face of the glacier. Uh, Rango. So you'll find a scenic harbor town and a Tinglet culture in Wrangler. The Tinglet people have been living in this area for thousands of years and examples of their culture and their history are prevalent all over town. Uh, they, the town is home to an impressive collection of totem poles um, as well as dozens of, uh, uh, there's kind of scattered all, all around town so you can take a walk and check them all out. Um, and one of the most popular totems is a killer whale totem that adorns Cheeks, let me see if I can say his name right, Chief Shake's grave. Um, there's, it has a killer whale on it. So that's kind of, and it's also interesting because the um, native um, Alaskan slash Canadian uh, people, when they carved their totem poles, they very much stylized their representation of the figures. They didn't make literal interpretations of them. There's also a petroglyph beach that has more than 48,000 year old petroglyphs uh, from the area. So you can really tell that people have been in this area for a very long time. Um, you can even bring a, like a piece of paper and a crayon and you can make a rubbing of the replicas that are set up at the visitor center. So you can see them down below. You don't get to touch the real thing, but they have replicas up at the, up at the visitor's area. Prince Rupert, Canada. It was first settled by humans over 5,000 years ago. It is now the transportation hub of British Columbia's North Coast. Uh, visitors, you can enjoy things like golf. There's a golf course there, uh, whale watching, even nature walks. Uh, there's also a canning museum because there probably was a uh, uh, either a sardine or a herring cannery there, or maybe even salmon canning. I'm not sure. Um, and then there's a city museum, which I think is always interesting to visit these little museums because they really, really capture the history of these little towns that you visit along the way. So that kind of gives you some of your itinerary. We're back to Seattle after that. Uh, there is some scenic sailing through the Inside Passage on that last day. And that's something that you're going to want to be on your balcony or up on one of the decks to see. That channel is one of the most beautiful uh, in the Canadian Alaska area. Um, so Steve and I, we are here to guide you. We're your Alaska experts. Um, we visited six times already, and I'm excited to go back again. And I mentioned that I recently attended two Alaska travel agent uh, training events. We are here to guide your experience and help you make, make this the best cruise experience that you, that you can possibly have. Um, so we're super excited to provide you with the opportunity to experience more of Alaska. With this 28, 28 night itinerary, you're gonna have so many unique opportunities to create, create incredible memories of Alaska. Uh, this is a picture of Mendenhall Glacier uh, just outside of Juneau. But with this itinerary, this, this one in Juneau is kind of an extra one because you're going to get the, the four other glacier viewing experiences. Um, 
most cruises advertise that you only get one or two glacier viewing experiences. On this one, if you count Mendenhall, you're going to have five different opportunities to see glaciers. Um, plus, there is excursions that can take you even closer to these glaciers and to additional glacier sites. Um, here is a, a, a look at those four incredible glacier viewing areas. Um, Hubbard, College Fjord, Glacier Bay, and Tracy Arm. And this cruise offers more unique ports than any other cruise experience. You've got Nome, Kodiak, Dutch Harbor, the Arctic Circle, overnight in Anchorage. So you get to do those extended tours from Anchorage, Wrangell, and then Prince Rupert. And I don't know if you can see this, but um, every time I visit Alaska, I experience something different and this is a seal in the in the creek in, in uh, Ketchikan. And they were just munching on the on those salmon because that was it was just every time I go, I see something different. I've never seen that before. It just happened to be at high tide, and those seals come in and and eat the salmon. It was it was incredible. Um, so let's talk about this. Is a Holland America legendary journey, and they've added four special events. This is the, um, some of the events that they that they are planning on doing, they did them this year on the 2024 uh, 20, uh, version of this cruise. Um, they had like a, a legendary ball gala, a costume party, a masquerade night. And that was different from the costume party because it was like you could make your own uh, like masquerade ball mask. And then they had the orange party. And Steve and I always love to participate in the orange party. We're wearing our, our, uh, our Dutch orange today for the presentation. It's a lot of fun. They they do a lot of fun things on these extended voyages that, that you don't get to do on the shorter voyages with Holland America. Um, these were the ones they had in 2024, just to give you an idea um, of what they, they had. I, I mentioned those in the other slide. And this is a question that always comes up. 28 days, what do we do about laundry? Is there self-service? So there is no self-service laundry on the Westerdam. Um, it's, you can do it, approach it several ways. $35 a bag, and you can, as much clothes as you can fit in this cloth bag, they'll do it for $35. But we usually do is we buy the unlimited laundry program for $8.50 a day, and we buy it for the, for the entire voyage. And we did that on our 28-night transatlantic. I think we sent out laundry every day. I mean, it just made it so convenient for us. So that is something I recommend. Go ahead and splurge for the unlimited laundry package. So now let's talk about what kind of experience you can expect from Holland America on board. Um, while there's some variations in the, the amenities they have on their fleet, they, they tweak things a little bit. Um, this Westerdam is a beautiful mid-sized ship and it's gonna really embody all the pillars of excellence that Holland America strives for. So they want to be a, a cruise line for explorers who want to visit unique places and get a deeper understanding of the places they visit. Uh, they also want to emphasize great food. They have world-class music programs and they have that legendary polished service. Uh, you know, I can speak personally from our own experience on that 28 night cruise. We had some wonderful, wonderful cruise staff that just went out of their way to take extra good care, care of us. Um, we, they're going to draw on their 150 years of sailing experience and incorporate those stories and that experience into every experience that they deliver to you to make sure that everything exceeds expectation. Let's talk about explorers. So whether you're active or maybe just want to explore like this lady is with your binoculars from the, from the side of the ship, when you're in those beautiful scenic sailing places and you can find that wildlife uh, along the shore, uh, you can do some more active uh, activities like hiking or kayaking. But whatever works with, with your fitness level, your energy level, they offer it all on Holland America. And they have this new global fresh fish program. It, it is a one-of-a-kind program. I'm not exactly sure how they are, they are doing it. They're, they must be just bringing fish on in many different ports. Uh, Chef Mari Motu from Iron Chef has um, some specialty items that you can get in the in the main dining room on the the, the like gala nights um they're a little bit they're like a specialty item because you pay a little extra for them they're very good um and then there's also just in general they have great fish um 
I ate a lot of fish on that 28 day cruise and it was some of the best fish I've ever had in my life. Um, and they also do this port to plate. So you're gonna get a lot of that fresh fish from, from Alaska uh, served on board. Um, and here's some pictures of just some of the different foods that I enjoyed on that 24 night cruise last year. Uh, they have these little appetizers that they serve at the sail away parties. They have pizza. Uh, they have the dive in, which I, the thing I love about the dive in is the uh, the hot dogs and the hamburgers are so delicious and the french fries are some of the best. Um, that's included with the price of your cruise. There's no premium pr price for the dive in. And then look at that surf and turf. They had uh, a um, beef tenderloin serving one night and they also had uh, beer battered fish and chips. And I said, can I just get one piece of fish with my with my beef tenderloin? And, and they, they helped me out with it. The Lido Marketplace is their quick service dining area. Um, everything is made like a la minute and served for you. It's not a buffet where you go down the line and just put tons of food on. It's, it's freshly prepared gourmet food. And there's lots of different choices and stations. We, we ended up liking the Asian food because they always had like a different kind of curry, something a little bit spicy. It was delicious. And then they have specialty restaurants. And the nice thing about if you book with a Have It All uh, Plus program is that you're going to get three dining experiences in these special restaurants. Uh, my two favorite are Camaletto and Pinnacle Grill. And look at that. That is the meatballs that they serve at Camaletto, one of my favorite. They also have this curtain of bacon at, at the Pinnacle Grill, which is their steakhouse. And that is, um, oh, Steve, can you say, what is, what is that I'm pointing to? I'm trying to remember what that's called. Um, salt and buca. Veal salt and buca. There's some really wonderful dishes in these two restaurants. So what, uh, it's nice that if you book with the Have It All program, you're going to be able to experience these and it's included with that package. So Holland America has some of the best live music at sea. Uh, they've been alternating on the, on the Western Dom between the BB King Blues Club and the Rolling Stone Rock Room. And really what they've kind of done is they've hybridized it. And so you get a band that plays in that uh, Rolling Stone Rock Room that does every kind of music. They'll have different theme nights, 70s night, 80s night, country night. Uh, they'll have classic rock night. Uh, and these are world-class musicians playing in here. I mean, I was like, like in awe of one of the guitar players. I thought he was absolutely amazing. Uh, they also have headliner acts that come into the main theater and uh, performed different types. You know, this is like a boy band group. They'll have sing, uh, they have a step one dance company. They have BBC Earth in concert, which is a really interesting. They have these nature videos with a live orchestra playing. Uh, they have featured entertainers like pianists and singers that will come in and, and do these, these short shows for you. Uh, there we go. Oh, what? And for 28 days, we are going to be completely pampered by the crew of the Western app. I, I just can't talk about how great the service is. We were on the Zyder Dam just a couple weeks ago for our transatlantic. And one of the things we asked for in the main dining room is would it be possible instead of getting a bread plate brought at the beginning of the meal, could we get vegetables? And we didn't think they were gonna do it right. This is what came out the next night. It was perfect, exactly what I wanted. I didn't wanna fill up on bread. I wanted to have my veggies. and. This is one of the theme parties they had. And I, I feel like they might have something similar to this because it's the same, same length cruise and we have a lot of sea days. They had a old fashioned county fair um, up, up on the pool deck one night and the pool deck is closed. They had all kinds of fair games that you could play. They had uh, like state fair food, like candy apples and popcorn. Um, yeah, it's just a wonderful experience. And, and I think that, that Holland America is gonna hopefully keep that tradition um, it certainly was something fun on our transatlantic cruise. Other thing that makes Holland America unique is they have just the right size ships. Uh, we sailed on the sister ship of this in May and at 2000 passengers, um, this size ship can take you places that the bigger 5,000 passenger ships can't go. It's gonna give you a more personalized experience. It's just 11 decks. It makes it a lot easier to get around. You know, you're not sitting there walking for days trying to find your room or the entertainment venue. So it really is just the right size ship. And here's some pictures of the ship. 
Uh, this is the piano bar, one of the areas we love. It's it's sing-along, participation. It's, it's a lot of fun. And the entertainers there are really make it a lot of fun for the guests. And there's the pool deck. Now, this does have a covering that comes over it. So you um, during the cold days in Alaska, if we have cooler weather, you'll still be able to enjoy that area. And this is the crow's nest. This is the area that looks out over the sea, and you'll be able to see a lot of things in a nice, warm, enclosed environment. Um, so this will be your home away from home. This is a, a typical balcony cabin, a standard. This uh, You've got a seating area, you've got a desk, um, a nice size bed. And if you're, if you're traveling with a platonic roommate, these beds can be split apart into twin beds. So you don't have to share a bed. Um, just a beautiful decor on the ship. Um, and here's just some, some experience. We feel like Holland America has such a lively atmosphere on board. A lot of people say, well, I heard Holland America is for old people. And, you know, on a 28-day cruise, you are going to get people retirement age, right? Because if you're working full time, unless you can just bring your work with us like, like we do, um, it's hard to take 28 days off. But there's, you know, it, it can, Holland America can, can be as lively and as fun as you want. Or if you need to go to bed early, you can do that too. So there's something for everyone on Holland America. Um, so if you're new to cruising or Holland America, I always like to, to go over this slide and let you know all that's included with the price of your cruise. So of course, your accommodations, your fine dining in the main dining room, your casual dining in the Lido Market and the dive-in. Um, of course, gym, entertainment like movies. They have cooking demonstrations and uh, enrichment lectures. All day long, you can stay as busy as you want. You can do dance lessons, games, trivia. Um, they also have sports decks. So if you want to play basketball, pickleball, ping pong, they've got that too. Uh, and of course, that live entertainment. We love the live musical entertainment. And usually we have at least three different styles of band. They have that rock, rock room band. They usually will have a jazz band in another venue. And then they have the piano player that does the... He'll do theme nights and request nights. It's a lot It's a lot of fun to get to know the piano player. Um, and then, of course, your standard beverages like, like juice with breakfast, tea, coffee, ice water, room service. And they even have an afternoon tea service in the uh, Lido Marketplace. But with Have It All, you can add so much more to that as to what's included. So here's the main thing about it, having the early booking bonus or have it all plus, is you get the free prepaid crew appreciation. So your gratuities are included. You do not have to tip your dining or housekeeping staff if you book with a have it all program. Um, of course, you're gonna get a low price guarantee. You get for a 21 day plus cruise, $300 worth of shore excursion credits to use. And you can use those pre-cruise to book online. You get the premium Wi-Fi, which is nice because uh, that actually supports pretty fast speeds. That, that's what I use when I'm doing when I'm working on board, and I'm 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 really happy with that. You also can get the upgraded Elite Beverage Package. So when they don't have the early booking bonus and you do just regular have it all, you get standard Wi-Fi and beverage package. When they're doing this have it all plus promotion you get the Elite Beverage Package, which has a higher limit of uh, the price of your cocktails. Um, and your non-alcoholic drinks don't count against your limits. So you get 15 drinks a day um, and you can have unlimited non-alcoholic drinks. Um, and then you get that specialty dining experience. Uh, you get three nights of specialty dining. And there's lots of different ways to book your Holland America cruise. So I'm going to kind of go over it. So if you go online and you book a have it all early booking rate, um, this is what you're gonna get if you book, say directly with Holland America. We have exclusive discounted group rates at, at Cruise One and they don't include the early booking bonus in the base rate, uh, but they're sub so substantially lower that when you add <laughs> the have it all plus to that at $55 per person per day, you still have a tremendous savings over these have it all early booking rates. So with me, if you don't want to add the have it all, maybe you don't want to do the specialty dining, um, you 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 want to pick and choose who you pay your gratuities to, and you want to um, you don't drink. So maybe maybe you want to book standard. We can do that all day long. 
But I really recommend, even if you would just have a couple non-alcoholic drinks and you add up the value of the Have It All Plus, it makes sense to book with that no matter what. So here's a price comparison for you. So I have the VC balconies. Uh, there's a lot of availability and choices in this, in this particular category. So I'm doing a comparison. So this is price per person based on double occupancy. Now, remember, this is a 28-day cruise. So remember, this is like four cruises in one. Um, so if you book it with the Have It All Early Booking Bonus directly with Holland America, you're going to pay $13,404 per person. If you book it with our exclusive Cruise One pricing with no perks, you pay $97.59 per person. But if you add the Have It All Booking have it all early booking bonus to it, you're going to pay $11,159. That's a $2,245 savings per person by booking through my agency instead of going direct. And if you wanted to save a little money and do an ocean view category instead of a balcony, um, again, here's the direct rate, here's my discounted rate, and here it is with Have It All Plus added on to it. When you do the math, math, it's, it really makes sense to add that have it all plus. Um, but you know, if you just want to see if you would spend that much money, you, you could do that too. I'll book it for you either way. Um, and we can book into any category that's currently available with similar discounts. We have the ability to trade our inventory. So we're holding a certain number, but if it's available in a suite or it's available in an inside cabin, I can trade out that inventory and book you in any cabin that is available and we still get our group discounts. Um, they're likely to pull back my, my inventory any month now. Um, so this is the time to book <laughs> and they're likely to withdraw that early booking bonus anytime now. So I'm really, if you're wanting to do this cruise, um, I really encourage you to call me and book in the next couple of days. Um, we have a special offer just for guests who book into our group. Um, we are offering, we are going to give every guest in our group a little bit of a treat on us. You're going to get a Pinnacle Grill lunch on a sea day, and you get one extra night in that lovely Italian restaurant, Canaletto. And we may have some other surprises where we're trying to wait and see what, what, what else we're going to be able to add. We hope to be able to add a little something more to that. Um, if this 28 night is just too long for you, we do have special right, pricing in 2025 on the 14 night cruises to Alaska. Um, we also have special pricing on many of the seven day cruise experiences with similar savings, um, you know, prorated according to the number of days of the cruise. But we, we do have similar uh, savings and deals on uh, some seven day cruise experiences as well. We also do a lot of other groups. So I'm just gonna run through these really quickly. With Holland America, um, we have groups uh, group discount rates on many of their see the world from your doorstep uh, itineraries. They're 20, these are all round trip U.S. departures where you get to go someplace exotic, wonderful in the world, and you don't have that long overseas flight. Um, we also do uh, groups with uh, other cruise lines. This is one we're doing in Iceland in, um, in 2025. It's a seven night uh, Reykjavik round trip. Um, and we also um, do escorted river cruises. So we are doing uh, an Avalon Bordeaux cruise. We're gonna have a webinar for that on September 12th. And we're doing uh, a wine themed cruise with a Arizona winemaker um, on um, in November, also in November of 2025. And we're having a webinar on that September 8th. And then we also, um, we just took out our group. We don't have a webinar scheduled yet for this one but it's a uh, romantic rhyme with Loon Cern and Lake Como. If you're interested in attending any of these webinars, please reach out to me. I'll send you the link where you can register them. Um, in May of 26, we're also uh, doing a Scandinavian castles with Holland America. And if you are crazy about solar eclipses, we actually did a solar eclipse cruise with Holland America this uh, April, uh, March, April, and um, got to see the, the eclipse in the 95% percent zone, but all three of these extended cruises that Holland America is offering in 2026 are going to be in the, um, the uh, area of totality on Eclipse Day. Um, we also have uh, some groups going to Antarctica. Uh, we have a traditional scenic sailing only Antarctica cruise with celebrity cruises. And then we're also escorting a group to, to Antarctica on an expedition ship that will get off and land and walk around 
Uh, that is going to be in uh, March, eight, fe end of February, wow. beginning of March, 2026. Yeah, uh, so we're doing that expedition. So uh, we also do wine cruises and we're doing a Caribbean one in March of 26. We're having a webinar on that one, September 5th. So I hope that you are ready to get to get more Alaska. You'll have more, if you book this cruise, you're gonna have more experiences. We've got more discounts, more perks and more onboard credit and um, more personalized vacation for you. We wanna thank you for attending. Um, I do wanna open it up to questions now. So if anybody has a question, um, just unmute yourself and um, ask away. You can put it in the chat. I don't see if um, no, nobody's putting anything in the chat. Okay, well then let's go ahead and stop the recording.